everyone talked about the other school. Everyone talked about the University of Texas. There were a few hurdles that the Lady Raiders needed to get over uh, during the 1992-93 season. One of those hurdles was beating Texas at Texas. The Lady Raiders had lost to Texas the first time they played in Lubbock. They, they dropped that heartbreaker at home against Texas. Block charge call. You've got the tape. Go back, look at it. I thought it was a late call to be a, to be a block, but, um, you know, and I really thought we'd get a call on our own court. But we had plenty of times to, um, to pull ahead, you know, and we didn't, so we can't really blame it on that last play. We stood in the locker room after that loss, and Coach Sharp just looked us, I mean, we were all upset, we were crying, devastated. Again, the expectation was there, and she said, we have got to do everything we can not to feel this way again. I thought it was certainly a turning point. It was certainly one of those times where we looked at each other in the eyes after that game and said, mm, it's not happening again. That created a fire, and then they started knocking people off, not, not just winning games, destroying opponents. We were beating teams by 25 and 30 points. Teams that were incredible basketball teams. I don't think any team's going to win the conference without one loss at least. So, you know, we'll hopefully we'll learn something from this. We will be ready to play when we go to Austin. The girls were as loose as they'd ever been before a game. And I knew then that that's a good sign. They weren't nervous about playing in Austin. You know, we are not leaving the Frank Irvin Center um, defeated. And Marcia Sharp and the ninth ranked Lady Raiders did so much more than beat one of the nation's best teams here Wednesday. They emphatically ended a 14-year drought by beating Texas for the first time ever in the Superdrum. The Lady Raiders now know that they belong in the top 10, and they will never again have to take a back seat to Lady Longhorn basketball. At the time, look, looking back on it now, uh, of course it meant more to me. Um, not, not just because that was initially um, the school that I was going to go and play at, but more so of the fact that they were always the dominant team in the Southwest Conference. They were the team to beat. Anytime you can beat that quality of a program on their home court, I think it says a lot. Of, it said a lot about our team that we had. After that, we realized there really wasn't a whole lot we could not conquer. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so on. It is so on. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. That's when it kind of clicked. At that point, we were just like, I don't think we're going to get beat again. And it, it was just like a fantasy. That was the game where you really thought this team has a chance to do something on a national scale. They beat Texas in Austin. Um, now what can they do? Can they win a national championship? After the Lady Raiders won the Southwest Conference Tournament Championship, the NCAA selections came out, and Texas Tech was a number two seed. That Washington game, it was close. Uh, Swoops ran into the gold standard at one point, banged her knee. You know, and she's like rolling on the floor and grabbing her knee, and I'm like thinking, oh crap. That was our first obstacle to, 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 I mean, to lose her for a second and to have to kind of come together and just play hard until she got back in the game. At halftime, you know, we were getting a little worried. So Coach Shark came in and challenged us and, and we came out and we did a good job and, and, you know, got our composure back a little bit and just kept attacking and um, thank goodness it's not over yet. You know, we still have a long ways to go. I think that was, I think it was good that they had that first test, that game, because had they really sailed through it, then when you run into USC, when you run into whoever, when you get to Missoula, I think it might have been a little tougher. Southern Cal and Texas Tech, a matchup that may boil down to which team can cause the other's big gun to miss fire. For the Trojans, it's a howitzer. 6'5 post player Lisa Leslie. I can remember Micah Atkins walking into my office and asking me if USC had a good post player. And I immediately went and found Cheryl and Kristen and said, don't tell her about Lisa Leslie. I didn't let it get to me. I would challenge myself to do my best. Here's Mike Atkins from Lorraine, Texas. Well, she's pretty tall. And she, you know, just puts nice little moves on her and goes score. I think USC was surprised at how aggressive Tech was that night. Uh, Tech got them back on their heels, and uh, the women of Troy just never really responded. It, it just, I think it floored them, the ability, the swiftness, the suddenness that Tech played at. Texas Tech was put in the same region with Stanford. Stanford was the number one team in the nation. They had beaten Texas Tech the first game of the season. They had beaten Texas Tech the year before in the NCAA tournament. And everybody thinks there's going to be a regional final matchup with those two. When you're trying to win a national championship, you have to be very good, you have to be very lucky, and you have to be hot at the right time. And we were all of those things. We were a little bit lucky that Stanford got beat by Colorado in the semifinals. They were the defending national champions. And to have Colorado beat them, I mean, we were like, 
oh my gosh, wow, we just, we, we, can, we can beat Colorado. It would have been an interesting mental hurdle with Stanford, but when it was Colorado, again, that just, I think, kind of threw that off. They said, all right, we're just gonna go play. You know, you can see, when you go back and look at the first half and, and stuff of that game, you can see that Texas Tech was definitely, I think, at a higher plane than what Colorado could gear up that night. Cheryl Swoop with two defenders in her face. Texas Tech is going to the Final Four. About two weeks ago, our goal was to go to the Final Four. About uh, 10 o'clock Saturday night, that changed. Our goal is to win the Final Four. Yeah!